If you're following Depp and Heard since after the case ended in Virginia, you probably know that people here has been very negative about Johnny. Now, they just printed something positive about Johnny's birthday in Romania. It was really great. But here we go again, where they're going to bat for Amber. This is from June 12th, 2023. And they say, Amber Heard to make first major appearance since Johnny Depp trial at Film Festival in Italy. Let's see what we got. Amber Heard's returning to the red carpet. On Saturday, Deadline reported that Heard 37 is expected to appear at the 69th Taurima Film Festival in Sicily, Italy on June 24th for the world premiere of her new movie, In the Fire. The premiere will mark Heard's first appearance promoting a movie since the end of the defamation trial brought against her by her ex-husband Johnny Depp in which he won. I think I said that twice, but that's okay. The trial ended June 1st, 2022 when a seven-person jury reached a verdict that largely started with Depp 60, though Heard won one of her three defamation counterclaims. All right, so they mentioned Johnny won. That's pretty good. And they say she'll be in Sicily for the premiere of the movie In the Fire. They then go on to say that Amber Heard's representatives did not respond to people's requests for a comment, which is pretty much the usual thing. They give some details on the actual content of the movie, which seems <laughs> pretty hilarious to be honest. Amber Heard is a psychiatrist who's going to save a kid who people think is the devil or something like that. When Amber gets there, she finds out that the boy's mother has been killed. Sounds amazing. And then they give some quotes from Amber from when she was in Spain being questioned by some reporters. She said she loves Spain so much and she plans on staying and living there. They say she said it was nice to meet them and she waved goodbye to them. That might be true, but I also saw some clips where she was pretty standoffish and irritated at them. When asked if she has more projects on the horizon, she said that she does, and that's life and she's moving on. What was she talking about? Probably just Aquaman 2, which they mention next. She's expected to return as Mera in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. They also claim Amber said she couldn't wait to leave the U.S. All right, fair enough, I get it. They say the trial was beyond stressful for her, and she wanted to start fresh out of the country. And now she's excited about working in film again. They also do mention Depp's film, Gene Dabari, which is already out, which is doing good. So that's about it. They said a few positive things about Johnny, but those things were factual, so they should. But mostly going to bat for Amber here about her new film, spreading the word, things like that. I can only imagine when this movie comes out, people will give it a good review. Rolling Stone will give it a good review, no matter how bad it is. That's just one sneaky way they can support her. But I guess most people will know anyway. They could judge themselves. We'll find out. It's not out yet. It could be good. I'm going to have to doubt it, though. I don't think Amber's got a great track record of actually being a good actress. That's my silly little opinion. Let me know what you think down below. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.